oh, well, story time has come around again, and this is Grumpy Badger's Christmas. It's written and illustrated by Paul Bright and Jane Chapman, and it's published by Little Tiger Press. It's a wonderful story, so settle down and listen carefully. It was almost Christmas, and the forest was a flurry of activity. The animals were bustling here and there, putting up the Christmas tree, wrapping presents, making tasty puddings and pies, while the young ones scampered around, squeaking with excitement. Everyone was looking forward to Christmas. Well, almost everyone. Grumpy Badger looked out of his window and he scowled. Happy Christmas, shouted Squirrel. Happy Christmas, bah, he shouted back. What piffle! I am a sensible creature and I sleep throughout the cold winter. Now I'm going to bed until the spring and if anyone wakes me, I shall be very, very grumpy. And with that, he pulled the window shut with a clunk. Grumpy Badger knew that he would be hungry when he woke. So he checked his larder. There were puddings, pickles and pastries, packets of hams and cheeses, crispy crackers, jars of fruit and sticky sweet jams. That should do, he said. Then he filled his hot water bottle and climbed into bed. He had just closed his eyes when there was a knock at the door. It was Mole. Happy Christmas, Mr. Badger, he said timidly. I'm sorry to bother you. I've been trying to put the lights on the Christmas tree, but it's just too big. Could I please borrow your ladder? Christmas tree, spluttered Grumpy Badger, piffle and double piffle. Christmas is for sleeping, and that's what I'm trying to do. And he closed the door with another big bang. Bah, huffed Grumpy Badger, climbing into bed. Borrow my ladder indeed. All I want is a bit of peace and quiet, and leave me alone. He peeked under his bed, where he put more food for springtime candies and cookies and cherry cupcakes. Then he cuddled deep into his big warm eiderdown. He was just starting to snore when there was another knock at the door. This time it was Squirrel. Hello Badger, he said cheerily. I've brought you a Christmas present. Christmas present, snorted Grumpy Badger, piffle and triple piffle. I don't like presents and I don't like Christmas. All I want is a little peace. And he shut the door with a crash. Now Grumpy Badger was really grumpy. To cheer himself up, he thought about the bottles and bottles of homemade lemonade he had in the cellar. Then he lay down and closed his eyes, but he couldn't sleep. His head felt a little chilly. Suddenly, there was a loud banging at the door. Oh, what is it now? Grumpy Badger sighed. He was about as tired and grumpy as a badger can be. Oh, Badger, panted Rabbit. Help, it's poor Mole. He's stuck at the top of the Christmas tree. Come quickly. Piffle, shouted Grumpy Badger, and triple, triple piffle with knobs on. Why can't everyone just leave me alone? And he slammed the door so hard that the whole house shook. At long last, Grumpy Badger fell asleep. But soon he was tossing and turning, wriggling and squirming. He was dreaming of Mole, dangling by one tiny, tiny paw from the top of an enormous Christmas tree. Mole was trembling. Mole was losing his grip. Mole was about to fall.
Oh dear. No! screamed Grumpy Badger, sitting bolt upright, and suddenly he was wide awake. What have I done? he yelled, and he jumped out of bed, grabbed his ladder, and dashed into the street. Grumpy Bear raced to the Christmas tree. Hold on, Mole, he cried. He scrambled up the ladder, scooped Mole gently into his arms, and then helped him down to the ground. I'm so sorry, said Grumpy Badger. What a grumpy old fool I've been. You're a hero now, said Squirrel, and he gave Badger his Christmas present, a soft, fluffy nightcap. But I've been so grouchy, said Grumpy Badger. What can I do to make things better? And then he knew. Badger's Christmas party was the best Christmas party ever. There were puddings, pickles and pastries, cheeses and hams and sticky sweet jams, cookies and cupcakes and bottles and bottles of homemade lemonade. They jigged and jived and joked and laughed late into the night. Happy Christmas everyone, Badger cried. And if you don't all come to my party next year, I shall be very grumpy indeed. <laughs> that was wonderful, wasn't it, everyone? That was Grumpy Badger's Christmas, written and illustrated by Paul Bright and Jane Chapman, and published by the wonderful people at Little Tiger Press. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed reading it. Sleeping well? And good night for now. I'll see you next time on Storytime with Santa.